Hello everybody, my name is Thallion and welcome back to Final Fantasy X HD. The remains of a campfire. With flint and tinder you could start another fire here. Well, what is that? Just a little bit of a hint? But we are here in the, uh, I was gonna say the undead ruins, I don't know why. There's nothing undead about these ruins, they're very dead ruins that are very cold apparently. Ooh, ooh, let me get this tinder. Stop that camera angles. Yes, examine. I want that tinder. Thank you very much. That's more like kindling, isn't it? Yeah, it's more like kindling. But, um, so we need to make things warmer because apparently Titus did not bring a jacket when he came all the way to Spira, which we will learn is the name of this world uh, very shortly. And I, I try not to get ahead of myself too much with story details, but like things like the world is called Spira. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll mention that. But I'm going to do my best to not spoil any details about the story, like the meat of the story, um, before it actually happens on screen. Because I want anybody who hasn't experienced this story to feel like they're here experiencing it with all of us together, and I think that'd be really cool. I think it's a really cool idea. Can I, why can I not use that? Huh? Uh, need Flint to start a fire. I don't remember where Flint is. Creepy statue. No, that's... That's always oh, no, that's not what's confirming Black Panther. Where's the statue that confirmed that Black Panther was set in Spira? I want that one. Uh, why is there weird writing on the ground? I don't even know. I should come back here sometime. I can't remember much about this. Uh, where's the flint? I forgot where the flint was. Oh no, I'm already going to lose by the puzzles so pathetically. Oh no! Oh! I can just open that door? I totally forgot about that. Well, now I have flint. I didn't remember that I could open that door. There's a lot, so don't blame me. I know I've said I've played this game many times before and it's extremely true, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be good at it. So please accept that. I'm, I'll probably be better at the combat than I am the puzzles because the puzzles when I was a kid always gave me a lot of trouble with some of the cloister of trials. I imagine they'll be much easier now that I'm older, but uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna promise anybody that. This should be fun. This should be a lot of fun. I like how it just exploded in fire. Like, not a little bit, just whoosh. Like, Titus is secretly a pyromancer. Oh, yeah, you're hungry. Start eating your own arm. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, hoo. I like seeing through the eyes of certain enemies. It's really fun. Wow, you are really trusting of the place with a bunch of things that wants to kill you, Titus. I never thought about that before. He is very okay with just lying down in a place where things were just trying to kill him outside. I need food. <laughs> Why do you have to say things like that, Titus? Why do you have to what say things? Oh, that's so cool. It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. Orin laying down the you law. You can't say that. I mean, hey, it's true. You suck, Tita. I love Tita. Ten years. <sighs> I thought you'd be crying. <laughs> apparently, Who, me. Apparently, Tita's crying is a very big uh, theme in you this cry? game. And then little kid comes in and lays down the law, and Tita doesn't even bother to think that's weird. Nah, it's just a dream anyway, so that's probably why. But I just like how Orin comes down, he's like, you're a crybaby, and then little tiny child comes in. You are, are you are in fact a cryberry. Cryberry? Crybaby, confirmed. Oh, look at me. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, don't go out on me. Is he blowing on her, or is he just like looking at it? Nah, just hold on. I'll get more wood. I like Titus. A lot of people think he's obnoxious, but I like him because he's just like a normal person, like talking to the fire, like, no, 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 stop that, stop that. Oh, that's nice. This is nice. Running on walls. Okay. That actually, this actually really cool enemy, st like starting animation. I love it. Why does it make like three laps around the wall, though? Does it think that'll disorient me? Because we still end up in the battle formation. Give me a break. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do it. All we got is attack, so let's attack. Whoosh. Yeah. Ow, you kind of hurt, sir. Oh, boosh. Yeah, just trading them blows. Just turn for turn. This is going to just keep going, isn't it? Like, I got two attacks in. So this is actually really interesting. Like, oh, okay, I'm getting kind of weak. If he gets a crit, I'm fucked. But I think I can survive one more attack and then potion up. Yeah, I can potion up here. I'm glad they give you starting items, because otherwise I don't think there would be, like, a good explanation for where I would get them. Let me double potion. Bada bing, bada boom. I think I'm almost at full health. I don't know. I don't remember what Titus's full health is, but uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, cinematic look on Titus's face. 
I imagine me saying Titus must be weird for a lot of people that's like say Titus. That is one hell of an entrance. I love it. Oh, I love it. Hey, it's the Outman. Hello. As a kid, I thought that she was just mostly naked. I didn't realize that that was just like a nude colored suit. And I was just like, oh, wow, hello, hello, hey, how you doing? As a child, as a very small child, I wasn't that small. But like, it's kind of like a nude color suit. I thought it was just like a weird... My side? Cool. I, I thought that was just like a weird Japanese censorship thing where they like didn't put any defining features. Uh, let me do special, let me use grenade. I like her, I like her a lot, just boosh! Much more effective than your shitty sword. Uh, let's steal. Get another grenade so that we can throw it. And then, oh, I'm on Titus. My bad, Mobby. Mobby, calm down, man. And let's just grenade the crap out of him. If you have multiple grenades, just just do them all at once and just like roll out onto him. Oh, you still you have another turn. Okay, let's let's try to finish this quickly. Bushka, how much health do you have, you son of a bitch? Uh, I should have healed her. Uh, actually, I've got three turns. Let me steal. Couldn't steal anything. Oh! Right, I forgot that it's chance-based. I don't know why I forgot that. That's a very basic Final Fantasy mechanic. For some reason, I thought she would automatically get this, this stuff from him. Let me steal from him again. Get that grenade. Huzzah! And then kick his ass! Oh. Well, I should have just attacked with, with what's her name. Don't want to spoil it. And then this is AP, so this is how you level up in um, Final Fantasy X. You get spheres and you go along the sphere grid, which I'll show you later when the game shows me. But you don't have traditional levels, which is actually really interesting. Look at that booty. Hello. How you doing? That was a very dramatic whoosh. You have really pretty eyes. Oh, you're so cute. Ah. She's the best. Phew. That was close. Well, this I don't think this is going to end as well for you as you think. Yep, okay. He has hey, a lovely beard. Let me go. <laughs> you can definitely tell who got the protagonist. I love this. Please don't. Fed! Fed! Yes, you're the feds! You can see you got the protagonist treatment with their model retextures. Like, she's going to be a party member, as you can see. Well, I guess you see that in the fight. Like, anyone who's a party member gets, like, a major retail. Oh, no. <laughs> that face he makes when she's that close, he's like, oh, wait, is this going to end like a good porno? And then, no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so much fun. I'm having so much fun with this. Oh, look! It's Atlantis! It's not actually... I was more thinking, like, the submarine that they hate to Atlantis in the Lost City of Atlantis movie. I don't know why I said that this was Atlantis, but it works. Did they just, like, drop him on the, like, on the hole... Not the hole, but the, um, the deck of the ship? Because that's kind of a douche move. Just a whoop, eh, he'll dry out eventually. Like, let's put him in the hole or something, Kid, right? Good job. Oh. Hey, that hurts! <laughs> yeah, don't. Whoa. Okay. See, he's smart. He knows not to talk shit to the people with guns in his face, which is very wise. You have manly tattoos. Not you, him. Kindness. I also like his mohawk. It's pretty boss. <laughs> right. Whatever. Wait, what is that? Oh, those are goggles. Yeah. I Thank said you. I don't understand. Fed. <laughs> he is such a smart ass so and I love it. If you make yourself useful. You you understand me? No. <laughs> All right, Smooth I'll move, Titus. Smooth move. Okay. So now we have control. So let's go talk to her. Oh, almost forgot. She has a great I like her voice actor. Her actress. The sphere grid is used to develop your your characters by activating nodes of spheres. Let me show you guys how this is done. 
Um, it's gonna make me do this anyway. So basically, you take this, I'm gonna go past the tutorial and give you my streamlined tutorial. You see all these nodes that use different types of sphere items, and when you get sphere levels, you can go and progress through. You know, I don't need your crappy tutorial. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can move through it, it lights them up, you can move whatever, yada, yada, yada. Can I not skip this? I actually kind of want to skip it. It'd be much faster if I, guys, if I just showed you guys how it's, how it's done. Yeah, 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 move to this location, bada bing. And if you're adjacent to a sphere node, you can um you can activate it you don't need to be on the sphere node which is actually kind of nice for getting like sort of early levels i guess yada 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 so ability sphere okay we're good and we're back because that took forever so let's go look nope didn't mean to pause let's go to the sphere grid and see if we can level up to uh tedious any so yeah, so let me see, move, I can go up here, which moves me here, can I, and I can use the ability sphere, I can get shear, which is a buff, it is a buff, it's really good for early game, not as good for late game, because it really hits diminishing returns very quickly. We fit do rain yuck! Yeah, I like that. Oh no, that's such a douche move! Oh no, I forgot that it does this! No, I started the tutorial! Good. Damn you, Square! Okay, we're back. That was absolute torture because you can't skip out of the tutorial once you do it. Okay, so this is important over here, this book. Albed Primer Volume 1. This lets me, the secrets of the Albed language are revealed. Why to A? This lets me um, translate Albed into English. So if I come up to here and they use the letter A, I should have, do you see that uh, red letter? That used to be a Y, so slowly, and it's just like, there's no grammar change, it's literally just letter for letter translation, which is fine. Um, but I'm gonna try to collect as many of those throughout the game, I will be using a guide to make sure I collect as many of those throughout the game, because it sometimes adds some really interesting dialogue, and I don't want to miss any of that. So, uh, let's talk to her, I'm trying so hard not to say her name. It's not active now. But there should still be some power left. Well, then let's go. We're gonna go down there and activate it. Uh, sure. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. So they're scavengers mm -hmm. on this ship. Okay, let's get to work. She's so peppy. Okay. okay. Why would you trust somebody that you just met and captured? I mean, I guess you could employ them, but it feels like there's not that much security going down. I don't know. <laughs> but let's see. What do we got here? So we have to go back down into the ruins. I think these are actually different ruins than the ones I was in because they're more mechanical looking. And so, let me just dive down. This is also a really weird sequence. Anytime when you have to use the dive mechanic, because of the weird, like, invisible walls and the camera angles, it ends up being just a really wacky sequence. But, like, here, I still have to hold down B. It doesn't just let me go along. Move along, move along, like I know I do. But let's go on through here. Let's progress. And there's, like, spotlights and stuff. Oh! Oh, fighties! Oh! There are fights! I totally forgot! Let me just kick that ass. Kick that ass! So, um, as far as encounters go, I think I'm going to keep encounters on for the most part. Um, there are a few very specific zones where I'm going to do it for a little bit and then I'm going to cut them off because they are obnoxious. But most zones, I think you go through quickly enough that turning off encounters isn't always great. But um, any levels that I miss, I'm going to like keep myself like fairly leveled. I'm going to try not to over level, but I don't want you guys, I don't want the series to be bogged down by like constant random encounters because, well, sometimes they're very interesting and very cool to watch. It's definitely not all the time. Okay, let me save here. Ah, I got to save real quick. I'm trying to do my speed save. Because I got to save often because that is the rule of RPGs. Rotate your saves. I don't, stop. No, don't hit it. Why would you hit it? Why does that work? It's got the blue screen of death right there. It's clearly a Windows product. Clearly Windows supplied Xanarkand, or um, excuse me, Spira with all of their technology. Also, I don't know why Riku is letting Titus handle all the tech stuff when he clearly has shown himself to be completely and utterly incompetent. All right, let's progress through here. The game is running really smoothly, actually, for the most part, like a good 30 FPS. All right, let's do this. We can blow through these guys really quickly. And these are all scripted fights, so let me just blow through them. Um, Mystery Girl's base damage is not that great, but she has that. She has the cool items and she can steal, which is really cool from bosses. Um, not as cool as it was in Final Fantasy IX. In Final Fantasy IX, stealing from bosses, I almost felt like you had to have Zidane in your party. Or Zidane or whatever you want to call him. Because, like, bosses all had really cool early unique items. 
and they were extremely useful and you actually had a disadvantage if you didn't steal. And if I recall, it's not as like stringent as that in Final Fantasy X. Um, so you don't need to like employ the steal mechanic nearly as much. Uh, hello? These, so this is some of the weird camera work I was talking about. Like some of the stuff, it just like, it's really cut, like jumps around and cuts a, a lot. And it's okay here. It gets a little bit better later on, but like these early bits, not it's just very odd. It's very odd. So let's go around over here. Let's start heading back out of the ruins so that we can salvage whatever. And of course, we are met with random boss fight with Squidward. He is very angry. Okay, um, let me steal from him. Yeah, so I can get more grenades. I'm gonna cast cheer. It raises strength and defense, which means that I can take hits better and I can dish them out better. Which is really good. And that's really all that I have as far as Titus' strategy right now. Because he doesn't have very many abilities. Titus becomes a really good buffer later. Um, he gets like haste abilities and everything. And I really like that about him. He's really good for just like quickly making the party haste. And it's really great. Out of attack range. Trigger commands. So I'm going to skip the tutorial there. Trigger commands come up in a lot of uh, a lot of boss fights. Basically, you can do really nifty stuff just for uh, funsies. And you can change like special actions based on what the boss is like, which is really interesting. Uh, let me just... Oh, I thought I was Tidus. My bad. So like there are fights later on where you can talk to people and it raises your stats if you choose to talk to people, which is really, really neat. And I think it's one of the cooler mechanics of Final Fantasy X. Sometimes they don't make much sense, but most of the time they're pretty freaking awesome. Uh, can I, how do I check? How do I check people's buffs? I don't remember. Like, can I steal more stuff from you? Okay, I can steal another grenade. Like, I don't remember how to check the entire party's buffs, which is very interesting. I think I can do a trigger command here. Like, a really sweet... Yeah! Wait, no, I thought I could do... Whatever, um, let me heal up Rhea. Uh, let me heal her up. Her name really isn't a spoiler. I just feel like it'd be weird to use it now. And boosh! Okay, Titus should heal up, but... Uh, I'll heal him. I'll heal Titus. How much is a high potion? I should have read the item. That would have made things easier. If I had just read the item... I think it's like, yeah, a thousand. So that was a bit of a waste. I should have saved that for later. Well, let me grenade up. <clears throat> the fights get a lot more strat a lot more interesting strategy later on, which is really nifty. Oh, I forgot! Cheer stacks! Cheer actually stacks its ability up to, I think, five times? So you can actually, like, cheer up, like, three or four times and boom. And I don't... I think it's worth it, actually, to cheer that often. Can I get another grenade off of you, sir? Couldn't steal anything. Um, let me do another cheer with Titus, and then we'll go into full-on attack mode. Hello? Oh no, not the tentacles! Not the tentacles! Okay, um, you're gonna try to steal again. I'm gonna make sure that she's always trying to steal, because I want to get cool things! And I believe the game will tell me, hey, the boss has nothing left when he's out. I don't think it has, it's the same for can't steal and doesn't have anything. I think those are very different animations. Um, let me do one more cheer to buff it up. I'm gonna look more into how, like, valuable, like, buffing with cheer is. Because I like to not suck at video games, even though I, most of the time, I can't avoid sucking. You couldn't steal anything. I thought it... Is it just being obnoxious? Whatever, I've got an overdrive. Pincer attack. Let me do a spiral cut. This should do a lot of damage. There's a point at this fight where... Okay, fuck it, I overkilled! There's a point in this fight where it goes around the side, and I think you can use Titus and you can have them both go around and do a pincer on it, but I just never got the chance to do it. Probably because I, I I probably killed him too slowly or something. Boss complete! Yeah! Even though I'm terrible. I'm sorry for being absolutely terrible. Uh, okay, so Titus has another soul level up. Sweet. And you get a lot of cool power spheres. Um, should I bother going back here to save? No, I'll just leave. I'll just leave. Should be very interesting things. So, by turning it on, what do they get that they can salvage? Like, could they not salvage it with the power off, or does it show them what's valuable and still working? One thing I've never quite understood about it, I mean, it's not a huge deal. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense they'd want to power on everything to see what works, but that's really interesting. Not to mention, it looks really cool once all the spotlights and everything are on. Oh, it looks super neat. 
Oh, this, this Machina facility. So cool. And now here's another awkward swimming sequence where we just go back up to the boat, because that's apparently what fun things do. Wait, where am I going down? Why am I going down? Why am I going down? Oh, okay, no, they're just coming to, like, uh, help out. Okay, I think I'm going back up. This has a, such a grand scale. Like, you see the ruins down beneath, and they're just so neat. Oh, they're so freaking neat. And it's just huge and grandiose, and you feel like there are so many lost civilizations here. It's so cool. Is that the Enterprise? <laughs> is, is that what got lost down here? That would be awkward, a Star Trek Final Fantasy mashup. I could kind of dig it, though. I could kind of dig it. Okay. So these are kind of those weird cinematic pans that I don't feel... I feel like it slows down the game sometimes. Like, it gives this great feel of um, just, like, size and magnitude, but it also is like slows down the pace of the game a little bit, which is really interesting. That is such a cool boat. I love the boat. How does the front of the ship connect to the back of the ship, though? Like, do they not use the front of the ship? There was no, there was no chamber there. It was just railing. So is this an airship? I don't remember. Yeah, Titus, my boy, you are proving yourself to your new friends. Yeah, you go in there. You join them. Hey. Hey, I helped out, didn't I? Yeah, they don't like you. You're the new kid in town. You gotta earn your place. Because currently, your bed is literally the floor of the ship. Smooth, dude. Smooth. Uh, hungry. This is why a lot of people hate Titus, because he says silly stuff like this. He's like, Whoa. Look, she brought you something from the cafeteria. She's sharing her chocolate milk with you. Whoa. Right on. Is that spaghetti? I've always wondered. You, do, you could just use the utensils, bro. These are very entertaining sound effects. I love it. Titus is the pinnacle of manhood right here. Just steal her canteen, yo. Just keep it with you the entire game. It's because you eat too fast. She's so friendly and nice. It's because Titus, you're a derp. He's in such a good mood. I love it. I love Titus. Most people hate him, but I love him. He's such an interesting hey. character. Hello there. What is your name? Riku. You're so cute. Kawaii. Oh, really do understand. oh Riku's the best. I forgot that they they said her name this early. Oh, Riku's the best. She's so cute. Ah. Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. We? We? Talking to me? Uh, we? Oh, we means you. I don't understand it either. Um, who are you guys anyway? Random plot exposition. Oh, Away. Hey. Can't you tell? Oh, you're the Albed. You're not an Albed hater, are you? I would say I no. I know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Zanarkin. <laughs> I'm a Blitzball player. Uh, star player Awkward pacing. of the Zanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Like, boy, you be talking crazy shit. Um, you guys hit me. That's a good point. Oh Very right. Point. Do you remember anything before that? She's actually taking this very calmly, the, all this thing, all these things that he's claiming. And see, this is the weird pacing of the dialogue I was more referring to earlier in the last episode. So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. Oh, his voice gets so close to the about mic. About life so, oh. there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder... Yeah, she looks well. She looks really crazy there Did from I that perspective. Say something funny. You were near sin. That is correct. Thank you, Riku, mm -hmm. for reiterating what I told you. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny Pardon? when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream. Um, 
I believe he's just like, wait, what what are you talking you about? I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You That's sure? an interesting thing. Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. Drop in the so base! No place Blitzball there. He's like, uh, pardon? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just, I love that, that, huh? What, what, what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way. Plot. Okay. Oh, man, I really hate to leave it here, but we are out of time for this episode because this is getting so good. And I just love the character interactions and I love Titus's ignorance and it's great. But um, yeah, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like this video, share it with your friends and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thalion out! Waha! And then woohoo! Oh, that's so cool! Like, you have to dis use destructible physics! Oh, to like break windows and stuff, that's so neat! Man, you had Super Mario RPG, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Come whoa, back here. What the fuck was that? There it is. Yes. Oh, what was that? oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs>